Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to discuss briefly what individuals and societies is about. And now I'm going to move on to the outline of the subject itself, individuals and societies. Starting off with the introduction, content, aims, key and related concepts, and lastly, assessment criteria. Now regarding the weekly plan or the calendar, we're going to have five classes per week that are aligned in the BC Beyond Classroom with varied sources in content. And as you can see, in our book, we're going to be covering actually uh, various themes in relation to universal and global contexts, uh, like, for example, global interactions, change, perspectives, innovations, and systems. And as you can see, along with the global and common universal values, we're going to answer a lot of questions like what does it mean to be a global citizen and what can we learn from different civilizations and etc. And now moving ahead to classroom engagement, I'd love to see you engage in the class working, teaming up together, passionate, collaborative, wanting to achieve through collaboration, kind, respectful, and absolutely doing your best. And now I'm going to talk about uh, basically my favorite quote, and I'm going to reflect it actually on our subject, which is individual society. And it says that the duties of a teacher are neither few nor small, but they elevate the mind and give energy to the character. And I think that this can never happen without your collaborative and passionate force in learning. So as you're the only ones who adds upon character. So let's start off with a brief introduction. So individuals and societies actually encourage learners to respect and understand the world around them and equip them eventually with necessary skills to inquire. And it also appreciates diversity of human culture, attitudes, and beliefs by focusing more on real-world examples throughout the units, case studies, research, and lastly, analysis. And now moving on to the content, which is one of the most important parts that we have in basically the curriculum. So we have to ask ourselves every time, what about the content? What does it include? So actually it includes challenging works from their resources to suit the particular needs and interests of basically students. These diverse works actually broaden the students' experiences and perspectives. And it actually encourages increased intercultural understanding through studying rich varieties of cultures, historical periods, and even places. And now, whenever we talk about individuals and societies, we talk about skills, major skills that are research, critical thinking, self-reflection, and global integration. And we ask ourselves the question, which is what skill do we actually need to enforce? In which students put together reasoned arguments, questions, and assumptions and draw together, analyze, and critically evaluate information. Now moving on to the core of our lesson, which is key concepts and related concepts. So what are the main concepts covered by the curriculum? So it changes one of the words actually, since it involves understanding and evaluating causes and consequences. Second of all, we have global interactions that focuses on connections between individuals and communities, as well as their relationship with built in natural environment. Lastly, moving on to the IUNS assessment criteria. Now, the objectives of any MOP subject state specific targets and define what the student will be able to accomplish as a result of studying the subject. Now, four criteria are going to be taken into consideration. Number one, knowing and understanding. That highlights knowledge and understanding when answering questions that are related to the content in correcting terms, examples, explanations that are relevant to the question itself. Investigating. Investigating a global issue based on the concepts and context of the unit. Number three, communicating. That highlights communicating information clear to the audience heeding them. In other words, their gesture and tone are clear and effective. Lastly, is thinking critically. It highlights extracting the main ideas, events, visual representations, and even arguments. In other words, students must ask themselves all the time, what is the unit about and what do I know? And that's for the presentation for today.